Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a lead magnet using Canva. I use Canva all the time because, well, it's awesome. So we can do uh, really cool stuff with it. We can make really nice looking presentations and ebooks and that kind of stuff. So we're going to use Canva. Here we are in, uh, in the software. Now let me tell you a little bit of a background here. So one of my students called Rick Hicks. What a cool name, right? And here is a lead magnet that he is, has made using my uh, training, the Profit Copilot Academy training. So he wants to make this look really nice, but he's having a bit of trouble getting his head around using Canva. So he asked me for my help and I said, well, I'll make a video uh, to walk him through it. And I figured other people might need that information too. So I thought, well, let's make the video public and share it with you guys so you can benefit from it too. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Canva. We're going to hit create a design. And we've got loads of options here. I'm going to choose ebook for this one. I have uh, chosen presentation and I've also chosen this version of the presentation too to create ebooks that look slightly different. Maybe you've seen some of my lead magnets that look a little bit unusual. They stand out a little bit. That's how I've done it. I've, I've just chose these ones instead of the ebook. But because I assume your lead magnet is going to be an ebook of some sort, let's choose that one. So here it's going to generate a working area. And all we do is we, ha we have a look on the left hand side here and we've got loads of options now have a look at the, this bit here it says free some of them are free some of them aren't free so if it's got that little little label then we can just drag it like that into the work area and then we click on the text and what's rick gonna call his uh lead magnet i don't think he's he's uh named it so it's about plr so just for uh PLR. so the cool thing with canva is we can change the the uh well pretty much every element on the page so we could uh align it and change it however we like we can also change the background i'll get to that in a second so So if we, if we were to change the background, uh, we we could go to, to background and we could drag in a a different um, a different design. We could go to uploads and we can drag in find a image. So we could change it like that. I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna undo that because. I'm not going to spend too much time on the design. So here we would, we would click on add new page. Once, once we've got the, the cover page sorted out and we're happy, then we can add a new page. So here we will go to text element. Let's drag that in, then position it wherever we like. Let's go back to Rick's lead magnet so we would copy the text here copy that and then we would paste it in here like that then align it however we like Now, because this is a little bit wordy, what I'm going to do is once I have this page set up in a way that I'm happy with, I'm actually going to split this text across at least two pages. So what I'm going to do is remove some of this text for the moment. I'm going to change the position slightly here, bring it down.
go to elements free photos and we can search for some nice image you can pull that in double click on the image to to get this kind of mask area and then click there if we want to move that area so we can we can highlight just a portion of the image we can do that just by double clicking we can move that up here and this is of course called introduction so take that I'm going to duplicate this portion of text because I want this uh, the, the same properties on this uh, text block so I'm going to copy that and then just drag it down here I'm going to paste in the part that I've deleted align it like that so if we're happy with this we can then copy the page by hitting this this icon and then we can go go ahead and we can get more of Rick's lead magnet and we copy that and then we can paste in some of it here and we just paste in the text that that we need wherever we need it and there you go so so we can change this image if we want to. We can change the background color here. So we could make it whatever we like. I'm going to have it the same color as that, that salmon color. So there you go. That's how you make a lead magnet in Canva. Then to, to get it, you hit download. It's going to give you an option here so I would go with the standard recommended version PDF all pages when you hit download then that will just download the uh, the document for you and it will be all done and dusted ready for you to upload to the internet as a lead magnet so hope you found this video to be useful uh, as you can see Canva is very easy to use once you understand a few of the basics so it's all drag and drop. We can just align things. Everything that we have on the screen can be moved however we like. We can change the colors, change the font sizes, the font face, we can change the images, we can replace that one if we want to. It's a very powerful platform. And if you're making a lead magnet, I would keep it under 30 pages if you're intending to use the free version of Canva. So with that, you get 30 pages on any of the documents that you that you intend to use for free. So, OK, I will leave it there. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in uh, in a few days. Thank you.